Somebody says, I like the Scottish way of doing holidays. Christmas, New Year, Burns Night, and then basically nothing for the rest of the year. Amen. Moderation is key to good health. Oh, Matt Deli's... De Deli's saying Deli's revving that, up uh, for something here. Yeah, he's saying probably that uh, Dante is a bit fat and he needs to trim a bit of it off. Well, I mean... Sure. <laughs> sure. Pot, kettle, black. <laughs> I, I'd long hypothesized that these two players are going to want to cut each other off from Vigianagar, but now it seems like Gujarat have made the most of the land. They've gotten mm -hmm. all the way down here. Oh, who are those? It's Habsan. Habsan's, it's a uh, march. Yeah, they can revolt out with the land and then you can choose what to do with them. Oh, is that the pirate island nation? Isn't it? Uh, I think it is. I believe so. I'll go, I'll go with that. Why not? And they get their CD tradition, yeah, it is, which allows them to raid coasts. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so, so yeah, th there, there's that. this little island off the coast there, which is like just a fort, and there was a nation there that controlled a part of the coast there. It's super cool. Okay, Neon TD is getting back in. Comrade Dante selling provinces as a privatized economy. <laughs> he's still trying to claim he's not the Kaiser. There's some good comics out there about uh, Kaiser Johann's rise and fall as the <laughs> peasant ruler. Uh, do you think it's uh, how far is he from like becoming a uh, republic again? He's got a long way yeah. to go. I think didn't he lose a lot of his reforms by uh, by going full dictator? Yeah, I think no, maybe two reform progress. I think I got uh, I got to hand it to the Kaiser though. He's really given me, especially with where he is. He's really given me the extra play Tropico. Oh like, yeah, just, just the story and that he tells. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what he's become, right? So um, I don't know where he's getting his uh, his international funds from, though. All right, so if we look at his uh, his reforms here, he's got do 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 do. And right. he has Parliament. Okay, so he has gone. You know, Parliament's the first step there, I suppose. So he's two away. Yeah, so he could make his way down to becoming a republic in the 1600s. Yeah. These get more expensive as you go along, though. So mm. he's probably going to take some time. Yeah, it's going to take quite a bit of time before he gets there. Yeah. But he could. It's also affected by your average autonomy, and his land is very autonomous since he's just been conquering it left and right, and I doubt he even has the states for it all. Actually, yeah, how is his states looking? Like, last time he had, like, 80 territories uh, and 20 states. I was trying to figure out what Neon TD was saying about uh, his rebels, but uh, what was that about? Did yeah, like his, but like when it was Byzantium, he had twenty states and like forty or sixty territories. Ah, yeah. So right now he's at uh, he's at his max of thirteen mm. states, and he's got nine territories. Oh, and if he keep conquering like that, he's gonna get hit with something pretty soon. Yeah. We did take some measures, the anti-Kaiser Joe and the anti-Kaiser <laughs> measures. Yeah, it's part of the gameplay changes we'll yeah. talk about in uh, one of the future diaries, I think. Yep. When you become a true republic, then you can lecture me on capitalism. <laughs> Dictator Joe. I wonder if that means that Dino's going to go down uh, to try to become one, or did he perhaps already manage to to become one? That's what I'd like to know. Mm, no, he's okay. also a monarchy. He's yeah. far off. One of the theocracies might... No, we don't have any more theocracies playing, so... Did we have any to start with? We had the... Well, Prussia yeah, but went they become... full... So if we check out Prussia's one, they went full Prussian monarchy. I mean, yeah. of course, they turned into Prussia. And so actually having this... I mean, you get the, the Prussian bonuses, which are pretty awesome, especially that monarch military skill. Yep. Uh, but he will also have militarism, yes, militarism, which he is using. Yeah, and because he's not enormous, he keeps it for a long time. Mm -hmm. So his good legitimacy and he keeps his army tradition high, that, that actually maintains this pretty well. And also, did he... No, he hasn't taken um, parliament. What did he take in deliberative... Uh, because... We, the oh, Liberative he, Assembly, he went for a royal decree. Ooh, he, wants he, that. Should, he should have taken parliaments because we added a special thing for Prussia that helps them with their militarism. Mm -hmm. We won't be able to see that here, but you at home, <laughs> yeah, when you, you have home, Dharma, you can check. If you can get your nobles to agree to a uh, debate, then okay. you get it. Uh, it looks like Burgundy decided to step up and become the leader of the Protestant oh. League. And now we actually tell you what your score is towards becoming the leader. So they would have known that they can become it. So they're fighting... Uh, is the war on? The war is on. So if we... It's if a we very this, small war. The war of the Protestant League. <laughs> that is the cutest... It's like small, smaller than advertised. And uh, yeah, I think that Burgundy's going to roll over. He'd become emperor. 
Oh, Ooh, does he want to become emperor of a Protestant HRE? How can the Pope allow this? Yeah, that is I, what I'm I wondering. Don't know what the How can the to? battle Pope? Permitted. To be fair, whenever Burgundy strolls down to Italy, like, you know how the Pope used to part the walls of forts? Yeah. Now Burgundy just parts Italians. Yeah. So, uh, how can Europe allow this, says the Kaiser? Yeah. What's up? Says the Protestant. Ah. Oh, no, I think he's the one fighting. Uh, yeah, but that's AI. Yeah. Okay. He's, a he's always keen to, to make people look mm. in another direction, isn't he? Burgundy can pick a reform as well. Anybody within colonial range want to tell me about lovely printing books? <laughs> the thing we have to do these days. <laughs> Hashtag not my pope coming up in <laughs> chat. I mean, the pope's uh, looking a bit reformed these days, so not even, uh, not even Protestant. Oh, no, this is a sad day. Nitra Elector? No, how, how oh, would please, Nitra please be an Elector? To, oh. I mean, I'd be pretty excited about that, but yeah, but Nitra they're not. has got a lot there. of problems yeah. that stops them being an election. But it's like it's right there, though. Yeah. Right there. The Ottomans has yet to attack him, though. Uh, yeah. I think Who are they allied with? What Nitra? Nitra don't need allies. I mean, okay, they have mains. <laughs> stop the presses. <laughs> Get a book. What's that? Got a book coming to you soon, Blondie. It's called Das, das Kapital. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me embrace it first. He probably needs to understand what are books. Yeah. All right. Theodoro <laughs> is making good on their word. Like, in terms of map size, they've yep. pretty much doubled. Not that this is the greatest of land, but this puts so, them right next to that is he delicious using gold mine. Is he using the Cossack estate? Because he should have access to that. Doesn't look like he has any going on there. If we look at Theodoro, oh well, the Cossacks don't really like him that he's much. He's giving them like one province. Yeah, that, that's probably a part of it. Mm. No, it doesn't look like he's tapping into the the power of the Cossacks there. Oh, he should. Oh well. It's one of the problems of sitting here watching other people. It's like, well, ah, I, I, but I would do this. Yeah. But this is fun. Speaking uh, of fun, uh, I think this is where Burgundy gets his. Fun. Hang on, the Ottomans are involved. The Ottomans have decided to conquest uh, that province. Well, the, the one that's being sieged down by them. Oh, where, uh, where are the winged hussars when you need them? Marching. Like, they are still like a big power for being an AI. Yeah, they have been slapped in a couple of wars now. And, yeah. you know, by this point, they're going to really start dipping compared to how the players are doing. Yeah, and they but, can form the Commonwealth, so. Yeah, but they, they keep their alliance with Bavaria and Theodoro. Prussia, on the other hand, is just sticking with the marketing sea mm. idea. And Dithmarschen. Yeah, I wonder why Dithmarschen gets involved with Prussia. I mean, they, they, know, they know some good strength there. Nepal's heir has an awesome name, we're told to check, by uh, Mighty D-Note. Well, if I actually check Nepal there. Uh, okay. So, uh, are Lhasa, you going to try? Uh, no. Lax him naras im hala inga. He's not even that great. Mehti me. Place your best... We will become the emperor when this ends. Place your best now. Well... The Dutch can Well, there, there we go. So, uh, the war is over. Mm. Uh, it is, of course, Protestant victory. And as a Protestant elector, the Palatinate have come out on top. But now I think Burgundy, now that they're eligible, mm. probably going to try and seek out some votes for themselves. Yeah, but that means he needs to, like, stop killing stuff. That's hard. Yeah, but he hasn't really been expanding into the HRE, so I doubt he's that unpopular with them. So he just needs to find... Well, he doesn't even need a lot of votes. Uh, None of these are players. Well, Saxony was, but uh, I don't think they're still in. No. No. Nope. No. So who knows? Then again, Bavaria could always step up. But they're Catholic, I think, right? Bavaria is reformed. They are? Oh! They, are. they so, could become an elector, hmm. right? Or... Could do. Cologne, Palatinate, Saxony, Anhalt. So we might get more electors, first mm. and foremost, if there are uh, if there are any Protestants going about. I actually have no idea how the AI reasons about who should I give electorship to. And neither do I. Yeah. But uh, funnily enough, the Bavaria player is the AI program. Yeah, so, so he... they will know. Yeah. Somebody's asking for us to check the Polish ruler. Uh, President Olbracht Narschkin. 
They are Muscovite. Okay. Yeah, if you say so. Musco oh, man. They're, they're Muscovite, but it's not the same dynasty, is it? No. Yeah. No, so it's not like Muscovy's going to be. It must have been that. an advisor, a Muscovite advisor that, like, made the air. Uh, made... Well, I no, mean, they could no, no, have been It's elected monarchy, right? right? It's elected yeah. monarchy, so you got probably yeah, elected. So there we yeah. go. Same dynasty as Tver, and Tver is on the map. Oh, man. Tver Union over PLC. Make it happen, please. No, I don't think you can get that when it's elected monarchy. Ah. A man can dream. <laughs> a man can dream. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm starting to dream of the day where uh, Burgundy is Holy Roman Emperor. And he's, that... very, he's very thick now. He's getting thicker. Reminds me of a old, old MP game I played in Eve 3, where I went full uh, Burgundy and HRE. And there was, a, there was a player in the Netherlands with vassals in the HRE. So I made them my vassals. And he was like, give them back. And I said, okay. And then I just formed the HRE and ate them. <laughs> Ah, good days. Very good days. <clears throat> also, people were wondering why Poland had a precedent. It's a bug in what name, flavor name that uh, Poland is getting. So yeah. it's no worries about that. There's, okay. They're not an actual republic. No. Uh, Palatinate are already demanding unlawful land from Burgundy. So oh. I, I think they are going to be a bit unpopular with the, uh, yeah. with the Germans for taking unlawful territory. It's a it's a really nasty modifier with all the HRE people. Who it's take it's it. unrest. It gives minus prestige. It's yeah. a really rough one. So what what province was it was uh, was that for? Would have been one of their non core Oh Savoy. Well, Savoy. I would take that for Savoy. James yeah. twenty eight development. Giving He's just off. coring it right now. Yeah. Who did he take it off? Switzerland. Savoy, maybe. Were they still existent? Occupied by Switzerland became. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know who yeah. took it off. Oh well, it's a Swiss core, so yeah. that that's kind of the giveaway. Mm hmm. Okay, D Note is uh, saying something in chat. I'm not quite sure what, but he's not at war, so uh, missing sidestep, getting his arse kicked by his former ally. Hang on, I gotta see this. It must be seen. Oh. <laughs> so the punitive war has started. So there uh, came the coalition. Yeah, and uh, Ming looks like they're not helping them out here. So yeah, after he broke up with his ally, mm. they decided, and it's not the biggest punitive war I've ever seen. No. What's they got? Ava, Mong Yang, uh, Arakan, and now, oh, I'm not so sure I'd say arse kicked. He, no. he's, he's sending them packing. There are occupations, sure, but. Uh, he's taking loans though. Mm, his vassals oh, want to rebel. Yeah. yeah, that's a financial burden. That's another kind of burden. And then, like, I, I think what happened is essentially because alliance or truce with uh, Ayatheia made mm -hmm. it so like, all right, nobody dared to start it. And then Ayatheia, all right, let's go, boys. And then boom. Yeah. Well, they're both tributaries. So uh, mm. Ming, Ming won't uh, break, up, break up its children. So can Divi come back from oh, this? Oh, he ah, surrendered. Threw oh. in the towel. And the things have so much aggressive expansion that I didn't even get rid of it all. And mm. uh, so what did he have to lose? He lost Lana, but he lost a lot of Lana. Oh, wow. There were some rich provinces there as well. Yeah, and Ivory. 18, ca 18 cows. Yikes. And now he's been split up from this land. Oh, at so, least he got his fine China. Yeah. Hey, you know, Varissa keeps going. <laughs> maybe this could just say Orissa. And then I think maybe Delhi would go, okay, you can, you can have this. <laughs> You can keep on with <laughs> Rest in peace, sidestep. Should have stayed Scotland. Now, that that's that's harsh. Scotland's still around. And then, okay, they're racked sort with revolts. <laughs> Having none of their starting provinces. And they have, like, this buffer state in between. Yeah, Holland. they are the buffer state. <laughs> oh, and now they're at war. Okay, just as we come over, we find it's the yeah. Norwegian conquest of Cumbria. Ugh. There's no no good can come of this. Uh, people are asking if Bratton, the uh, the Dutch ensemble right here, if he has a colonial nation yet, and the answer is I. Yeah. I think you'll no no. This is not a colonial nation. He uh, has yet to form one. It seems. Oh, but it is soon. Soon, very soon. One, two, three, four. But he's got a lot of provinces here. But he... oh, he's not oh, coring them because. Oh, what a clever cookie! He, he doesn't have to. No, he's worried about uh, Diff Martian uh, attacking him, and then if he enforces peace, mm -hmm. like 
the dish marker can just okay and accept the white piece. So I wonder if he's like if he's holding on to these himself. Yeah, it would have been for mm. that because he doesn't really trust. No. Doesn't really trust it. There was a loan offer from uh, Burgundy there, but and also... Martin just ate all of the Spanish. Uh, what is that? New Granada, in the south. Well, this stuff here. Yeah. Oh yeah, long gone. So Dick Marchand is on a rampage. Yeah. So he, he he was weakened a bit here, but he has so much to expand into, and it's pretty uncontested. And then, now you have a new Spanish Mexico there. Yeah, it's like the. Blocking his way to be able to uh, to oh, walk his way now. I, I don't think that's going to block him for very no, long. No, no, but that does mean like if anyone else attacks, he can't just walk around anymore. Mm, that's true. He could probably get access. Depends how much Spanish Mexico end up liking him. At the moment, it's still Spain no, they, rather than the colonial nation. Yeah, they don't like him at all. Yeah, people are asking about the new emperor. Yes, it is uh, Saxony. Saxony has made themselves some new threat. Oh, and it's Saxony. Aye. So Cologne, Palatinate, Saxony, and Halt. Thuringia, Alsace, and Munster. So no player and, electors. And they're all voting for Saxony. Well, I'd be surprised if Burgundy doesn't want to do something about that. Uh, then again, they're not not—they're not um, sucking up to any electors. They're just making their claims, including one on Champagne. It's a good province. I'm sure he wants it. For oh, that paper. Mmm. Paper's such a good good. People put a lot of stock into gems. But depending on how colonization go, the demand for gems, like the whole market can collapse. Down yeah, this, uh, I, I think there's pop. two events that make it collapse, so it can go really badly. Uh, but right now they're still good, right? Yeah. So we have the, the fasting, which busted it up to five. I th think I think it goes even higher. I'm trying to remember. I know there are at least two. One no, of five is still really good. Five is really good, but I mean, hey, 5.25. I'm no mathematician, <laughs> but I think that's higher. Okay, uh, people are uh, noting that there is war now. Hey, now, we, we don't know. might be that they're in two separate wait, so player wars. It, it, did Ming join it? Did Ming join it? There is no Ming. Ming decided they would not get involved here. Uh, look at that. They got a truce. So, no, Ming was oh, having none of that. So, Ming, so, Ming just ditched him. Ming no. ditched them hard. I wonder if uh, Ming's having any particular problems. It'll be that debt that Ming is in, so that's why they're not going to help them out. So Nepal is now going it alone. And then, oof, <laughs> Kathmandu under siege. I don't think uh, Nepal's going to last long in, in this. Oh, uh, there's uh, not much he can uh, do. That uh, does not look good for Denote. Let's see uh, where he goes here. Elephants trampling over his nice nation. Where's his army even hiding? Uh, does he have an army? Yeah. Oh, there they are. <laughs> he's running, <laughs> running to he, the steppe. He's going all the way to Beijing and going, what the hell, man? What the hell? <laughs> Catman uh... cannot do this time. People are saying rip dang. So I wonder what, uh, what Delhi is going to be up for here. Taking a lot of land, most likely. Probably but, the cores and yeah. maybe more, kill them but off. Will, will they just take the cores? I mean, I really don't want to see the slaughtering of Nepal. They've been through so much. They still have most of their corruption from when they had to... Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> menace the coward. Okay, now begins the uh, the propaganda. I, yeah. I, I, th I think I know the quote that uh, Dinot said when this happened. Dang. Dang. <laughs> just dang. Nepal thrived, but it all changed when the Dilettifants? Dilettifant? Fresh killer, you need to work on that. Maybe, uh, maybe boil it up a bit more. Somebody's asking for a look at the scores, that's right, since we are using age scoring right now, which is a new thing, put in. Uh, blah, blah, blah. What am I looking at? Score through the ages. So we're in Reformation right now. Oh, uh, remove yeah, the... let's just look at the players here. Burgundy is taking top spot here. And then Gujarat. Then Gujarat, Delhi, Persia, Netherlands, Ethiopia, Venice, and Ditmar Shen. There's our Ooh. top eight. And it's quite a jump down to get to Pomerania from there. Do we have an over overlay of what the previous scores yes. are, are looking right? I think we have the power. Yes, I saw him fiddling have, with it before. We have the technology here. I didn't have to hack it together last second this time. <laughs> Okay, here, here we go. So uh, the French Paradox could be lining up for a second 10 score here. Uh, that's Ooh. very impressive for, uh, for Burgundy. But Gujarat there. is right on his heel. Yeah, and uh, Adele uh, Delhi looking to get 
Not not another seven this time. No, but maybe a six. Yeah, but, but that that will give, if nobody steps in against Burgundy, that's I'm going to have such an advantage here. So, mm -hmm. but Blondie is getting his score this time. Yeah, uh, that's true. He was he was. There's um, no Scotland to miffed, stop him now. Miffed last time at Scotland's mere existence. Yes, <laughs> but now now Ethiopia can get uh, get what uh. they're after. I think people are pointing out uh, something about a paradox about the French running ahead here. <laughs> He's trying to... You, if you I had a ghostal province, I would 100% sell it to anyone that can beat Delhi down. You can't wow. sell promises while at war. Oh, well, you'd try. It, it'd find a way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I mean, we're looking at a very strong Burgundy here. The question is if anybody's going to mount uh, an offensive against him. His... But uh, with his alliances here, like Netherlands are kind of busy doing their own thing. Yep. A coordinated strike against him, say from the Italians, could probably bring the Burgundians down a notch. Problem is Spain would join in on that as well. Yeah, but Spain is also an AI that could be pieced out on the side. They've also been nibbled away at for some pretty nice provinces mm. already. So we, we shall see. And there's the unconditional surrender. So, okay, Meneth's, uh, Meneth's enjoying his, uh, his play here. What's he going to do here? I mean, surely he wouldn't take more than his course. He's a, he's Nepal, a reasonable is fellow. Is Nepal also going to be migrating? Oh, he would take a coalition for it. I don't think it's a coalition he's scared of. Mm, no. No, no, he will not just be. So, and then just suddenly Ming in the coalition. Ooh, that's, that's he can nice take a lot. That is quite a lot, but with a reconquest, these cores aren't costing him a lot anyway. Mm. Oh my, oh my. Oh, why, why would he do such a thing? Well, he, he spared Katmandu at least. That's but at he, least something. He took a couple in the state, so he might want the whole thing. Yep. But at, at least he didn't do something really nasty, like cut him off. Cut his capital off from the rest of his country or something. Uh, oh, do you remember when that was like a good move you did against your enemy to kill him? What, taking the... or surrounding yeah, the yeah. capital and leaving that? No, 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 like, yeah, surrounding it, so uh, they got the overseas penalty on everything. Yeah, oh, wow, overseas. Yeah. It's like, was... you, you want to fight a war with Russia, you just take this, yeah. and then... Dead. Or uh, Mamluks, you just cut off the Suez Canal, then magically, oh, yeah. they can collect their tax. Mm -hmm. It's been some fun stuff in the game yeah. in the past. He split me in half and gave me a lot of loans. Oh, oh so right. He took, oh, and he took right. the money as well. I, I'm, I missed that. Okay, yeah. so now, now he's, he is split. So, okay, the question is, is anybody going to step up against Delhi? But between Delhi and Gujarat, they have a lot of power. Persia oh, could, Men but they need to bring Ethiopia. Menace is claiming that's it for this. Oh, okay. I wanted relatively oh. clean borders. For, For me, me that, that is. is. I read that wrong. Okay. Okay, so it's probably not done. He might still want more border cleaning. Let's see what Delhi's up to. Delhi's. Uh, I mean, I, I have a lot of respect for Trin, you know, really pulling it off this yep. time, right? Malwa did not start in the greatest positions in uh, in India out of all the. No, all it's the possibilities. mostly desert, I think, all his land as well. Uh, it's not that. Bad, but I mean, it's central. You, yeah. You've you've got to fight your way out. But fight his way out, he did. You know, finally getting a coastline around here. You took land you didn't have claims on. You have no, no honor. honor. <laughs> Dino, well known for only taking land he has claims on, <laughs> or selling. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, uh, they said uh, debt. Uh, Ming uh, didn't want to join because of debt. Yeah, Ming has a, a lot of debt at the moment. Norway has taken Ulster, so they have a free free path over to claim the rest of Scotland. Mm -hmm. Whether they will or won't, I guess is up to them. Is Netherlands just going to let Wales live on? They're a vassal nope, now. No, nope. subject and currently integrating, so they even want to have that Welsh, uh, Ooh. Welsh state. Hey, the Norwegians haven't, have all their colonists and uh, have not decided to colonise. Today in a dev diary, we talked about something they could do with those. Oh, with the colonists? Yeah. Yeah, uh, a lot of people have been noticing in our province view, right? The, there's a icon. Yeah, what, that, what's, what's this guy yeah. doing here? That's, yeah. that's a question. So yeah. let, let's, uh, let's take a province. What, uh, what are we looking at? Where, where would you really 
The Inner Hebrides or the Outer Hebrides? Which is better? I quite like the Outer Hebrides. I mean, I, it, I, I guess it's a wasteland that needs some development. Ooch, I know. I had the best fish platter I've had in my life, but that was in the Inner Hebrides. Uh, okay. Though he already has someone working. Yeah, there. that's that's the decision made yeah. for us. So what can we do with our cult? I, I am Norway, and obviously I'm not interested in all the carnage in the new world. No. So. Well, or like, rather, right now you have nothing to put it on because mm. you're doing stuff. Like he has right now, he has two free, I yeah. guess. So what you can do is you can put your uh, uh, colonist. colonist on the province, which will make it develop it. And as you see here, you have 62% each year mm -hmm. to develop. Yeah, I mean, I can't do it for him since I'm just a developer, yeah. but uh, I'm just the observer. Or if he's watching right now, click there for us so we can show it off. <laughs> so the, the colonist is going to work there, and there's yeah. an annual chance that they're going to boost uh, one of the random development yeah. types. So it could be tax, production, or manpower. It is affected by the current development. That's why it's so high, 62.4, and uh, how much it costs to develop. Yeah, so the... Tr so, oh, well, there we go. Yeah, there thank you. It. So he's, he's already at work there. Yeah. And yeah, he's going to he's going to boost it by well when he arrives. Yeah. By uh, you know it's a random chance each year, but it'll yeah. boost it. So the, there's a difference. You know, if you do it in these places that don't have a lot of development already, mm -hmm. and it's uh, you know coastline isn't that bad, but uh, oh, there's no mountains here to to pluck away at. But like New Oslo has yeah. really high development, yeah. so it reaches the the cap. Like yeah. there's a minimum uh, there's a minimum chance of yeah. development. So in at this five. case. We're at five percent here. So where where is uh, we have here, which is like ten development at hills. So mm. yeah, and then you've got uh, an eighteen percent, and it's just Bergen in all caps. <laughs> Perth Perth is fine, but we have to have n n n n Norway. It's like what the. Also, uh, it, it, has selective. it arrived yet, the colonists? Yeah, it looks like he's there. There we yeah. go. So every year there's a 62% chance yeah. of adding one base tax production or manpower, reduced with higher development and affected by local development cost. Moder uh, why is Blondie yelling? Oh, huh. I was expecting, you He's know. losing his great power status. Never been in the threat of a coalition before. Oh. oh. Ah. <laughs> By the Ottomans? <laughs> the Ottomans and Messina. What? <laughs> the Ottomans go like, this is a threat that needs to be Ethiopia contained. Ethiopia is the target of a coalition by Ethiopia, no, Ottoman. Jenny, uh, yeah, Ottomans, Jenny, Katsina, those guys, and those other oh, guys. Oh, wow. Uh, get the better relation advisor yeah, yeah, now. <laughs> but I don't know, he has a lot of aggressive expansion, even over here. Okay, How? actually, that's not too bad. He can yeah. he can drop that. Improve relations with Ottomans and like drop that. Well, fast. that's improving relations would oh, help. Okay. But uh, oh, he doesn't even have the guy available. No. I would start sacking people left and right until he yep. could. Just keep sacking them. Okay, and now well, his subject. Well, they did. I think that's going to change. Or did he make? Uh, I think it. Uh, I think that interface is showing wrong because we're observer. I think it's Songhai. He made Songhai his vessel, and that's why. Oh, that's did he? why they're so pissy. Yeah, he did. And he fed them a lot. Ah, oh, that was it. Yeah. He, he subjugated them when they were this, and then he fed them all of this. Yep. And Messina is not happy with that, and understandably, the Ottomans are not happy with them. So uh, he he can't have a truce, otherwise. Um, Otherwise, they wouldn't have been able to join it. Nope. So who's going to pull the trigger? Also, he also changed their religion. Yeah, but that so doesn't that, affect yeah. that. That just makes them very angry at you. Yeah. Hey. Oh right. Like. No, I think it's you need to switch in and out from the interface. Something is wrong with observe mode. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me there. Okay, so. Nah, it's nah, not. Well, it's not showing the right one. We'll have to we, fix we, that. We know that he has uh, the subject of yep. strong high. Uh, right very there. close to be below liberty yeah. desire. So what? He forced them to be. Yeah, there we go. Forced them to be Sunni. Are no, they no, no. He forced them to be. Uh, to, to be Coptic. Yeah. Are they converting anything though? I wonder. Uh, ah, here we go. Yeah. They're converting Dende. He was my favorite Dragon Ball Z character. <laughs> and they're getting there as well. Hmm? Go, go, Ottomans, fire up that coalition. I kind of want to stay on uh, Ethiopia just in case we hear that, uh, that like, tooting noise of being declared war upon. Mm. The scariest <laughs> noise in the game, because, you know, <laughs> you never see it coming, right? Yeah. Whenever you're declared war upon, you always just go, oh, no, what, what has happened? What mistakes <laughs> have I made? 
What the why hell? There, why there are a lot of weird faces in Deadly the chat? Deadly face. <laughs> <laughs> that? There's an actually face for that, okay. Uh. I don't understand. Am I so out of touch? Apparently. No, it's the Twitch chat who is wrong. Yep. All right, Theodore is going for it. They've decided that uh, Russia should be theirs. Are they the one attacking? Yes. So this time they get to dictate the terms instead of having PLC do it. Yeah, and just ruin their perfect borders. Mm. Then again, uh, I think Poland Poland want Moscow for themselves, whereas Theodoro, yeah. they just... Oh, that, that's kind of nice of them. They just want this land. Yeah. Also, like, that feature I use in single player, I use it so much. What, telling... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, I, also, I, I want this and this and this yeah, and yeah. this and this. And also, like, yeah, multiplayer, because it just means it auto-signs the provinces when you occupy them for you. It's but so much nicer. It doesn't look like anybody else can join Ethiopia's coalition. I'm not even sure if Ashanti knows about an Ethiopia. Yeah. Okay, there are yet more people that could join the coalition, like Ashanti and Messina. Mm. But they have a I choice. don't think they need more. Like, check the Ottomans. Do they have uh, like uh, in uh, loans or something? They're uh, getting corruption. Yeah, they, they have, have loans. loans. What What are they getting corruption from? I think they just have a little bit of it. Overextension. Oh, so they recently took land. Yeah. That tends to make them not expand further. <laughs> yeah, remember. All right. <laughs> remember the one oh. that was in Austria here? No. <laughs> No, it's always I, I, been Ottoman land. Yeah, it, where's our new capital? It's not Sud all. <laughs> oh, no, it's still still here. It won't last for long. The nobles are upset that they lost so much Austria, land. Austria, come on. It feels like Burgundy... Oh, well, let's get rid of that. It feels like Burgundy's just been attacking France constantly. How does he... I feel like there should be truces here or something, but no, he's just gunning them down. I guess he doesn't go 100%, so he takes as much yeah. as he can. And... Uh, he integrated Barry, but not yet. Uh, Orleans? Not yet Orleans. He, uh, he didn't give them their provinces. He just took them for himself as well. <laughs> Blondie saying, where's that book dictator, Johan? So Ethiopia really wants to get some printing press of their own. But uh, who, they might get pressed by the Ottomans before long. You know, yep. any one of these guys in the coalition against them could happily pull the trigger there. Or ca can't we as observers? Is well, like well, well, yeah, I wish, but... Yeah. <laughs> Would if I could, but I can't, <laughs> so I win. Or you, you, you see, the, you know, uh, one of the biggest betrayals now. Or hey, or just, like, removes alliance, joins coalition. Yeah. I think the Ottomans have other priorities right oh, now. Oh, wow. Though. The Ottomans are deciding that they should be the ones having uh, overseas territories. Wow, have they, they're trade companies as well, have they built anything? So they are going to be the first to have trade companies got, in they got India. exploration here, so they're just uh, just colonizing around here. And uh, yeah, what they're do build, we have here? What do we have here? Ottoman settlement, yeah, it's a trade company investment, we had a dev diary on those. Essentially you can build up. We've already had the dev diary, yeah. okay, thank god. I was, <laughs> like, I was like, hang on, hang on, memory, yeah. kick in here for me. <laughs> yes, so the, the Ottomans already... Uh, They're already, already their building up, up their provinces, yeah. yeah. Good job. Uh, Good so, job, Ottoman. So, so Ottoman is going to be even stronger. <laughs> as it should be. <laughs> Mind you, I don't think they're going to pierce into this. The Gujarati Delian conquest of uh, India is working out very much to their benefit right now. Is AI Auto going to win this multiplayer match? Stay yeah. tuned to find out. So, I mean, the, the Ottomans, in terms of score, are looking pretty good, actually. They're, they're third overall. I think maybe... Although that is only in this age. Because... Yeah, but we're, we're doing it by the age. So I think... It counts uh, Ottomans as a player because we're in them. Yeah. Uh... So by, by, by this logic, you know, no <laughs> 10 points for French paradox. <laughs> Observers should be allowed to pick a country and we just roll with yeah. that one. I think you mean the Delhi conquest of Nepal, says <laughs> Yeah, Delhi has been super cruel here, but uh, Nepal's going to have to bounce back some way, somehow. I don't know how, but good luck. I mean, he can conquer maybe into Shagatai? Well, I mean, first off, I take care of this so you can actually yeah. uh, connect your land again. Take care of Bengal. Uh, Calm is under Ming, but Ming has been shown to be a bit useless, so they might be able to actually take them on over mm -hmm. that. If you time it right, and then you have Shagatai, he can conquer his way up there. Yeah, get that gold mine. Is mm -hmm. it still gold? Yeah, yep. it's still gold. And there's uh, diamonds as well. 
Blondie is asking the chat which idea group Ethiopia should take next. So chat, is it, it can't be quantity or exploration, but it could be anything else. What's it gonna be? <laughs> Maritime. Mm, sorry, something stuck in my throat. <laughs> Maritime? Maritime. I would take innovative or economic, hmm. I would say. It depends. Innovative is better because of the leaders, but economic is just to build up the provinces. It's quite a split here. Oh, wow. I, I don't know. I don't know how he's going to call this one because that's. that's a lot he of can't people. pick plutocratic. He's not the republic. Yeah, plutocratic is the only other one he couldn't possibly. Actually, take. no. He can fix it with one of the reforms because one of the mm -hmm. Mara, I think he should have access to it, right? It's only the Europeans that don't have access to it. Why don't we have a look? So. No, he don't. It's one of the first ones. Mind you, he's already made his way oh, down wow. to here. Yeah, he, he can. If he wants plutocratic, he can. Yeah, so he could become a plutocracy here, which mm -hmm. uh, allows the plutocratic idea group. Plutocratic idea group has previously always been for uh, the um, republics, yep. but if you're a monarchy and you choose to have a plutocratic power base, mm -hmm. then go for it. Whatever idea group helps you kill Delhi, says Dino. <laughs> wow! Yikes. You're not the, the center of the world. Uh, I'm just waiting for that coalition to fire. Uh, it's not would make go. would make me happy in ways you don't understand. He's overextended. He has. But loans. it's not the Ottomans that have to fire the trigger. Like anybody in the coalition could do it. They all have the coalition CB. So Massina, they're not, they're not ready for it. But I mean, oh wow. Okay, even though he was converting the Sunni zealots, just came and yep. torched the missionaries. There's a the thing. If you're going to convert your subjects' religion. You gotta babysit them a while, uh, unless they're already pretty stable. But look at that, like, he's, he's, oh, I thought he was paying his units, but no, he's, he's training. He's buffing up, getting ready to take down the oppressors uh. of Central Africa, Ethiopia. Has Bratton been using his polder technology? I have no idea. These weird Dutch words I just don't understand. I'm not actually sure what Bratton's been up to. I mean, he's colonizing, but pretty slow. Oh, he's actually going around Africa. Yeah, he's going around. Maybe he wants to fight against the oppressive Delians. Though he's probably going to want the Spice Islands, which means he's going to have to fight the Ottomans. Well, somebody has to. The Italians <laughs> tried. And whilst Several I really times. loved what the Battle Pope was able to do, mm. do we still have a Battle Pope? Oh, it's Clements Thirteen. He's... He put all his points into firing cannons. <laughs> he saw it went for the it's others. Just, I, I'm just gonna stand it's just back like here. We're getting nothing but meme popes <laughs> with the uh, with the battle pope reform. I, and what, all... what did you do to this reform? You put it in, okay? I... So what? Uh... <laughs> all right, we we have war going on. What is Prussia's in this? So what's going on? Ah, uh, okay. Oh, so the Prussians they're... are taking over. And Bavaria has uh, surrendered, like, uh, don't have their alliance with Poland either anymore, so they're not going to be helping them. Yeah, they just dropped the alliance, yeah. and they're they're in their own wars here. They're, they're defending against Saxony whilst fighting Austria. But, uh, yeah, I don't think Theodore is going to be... Su what the hell is this? He complained about ugly borders, and then he does this. He's an obsessive what now? <laughs> I think you'll find... Try to avoid ugly map borders. What is this? Jinx. Should we add like a penalty, like if you're not fulfilling there the trade? There should definitely be a score <laughs> penalty for hideous borders. <laughs> Speaking of hideous, look at those general five siege. Most people have never seen that in their life. And five I, siege. Wow. The, and that's not even Cap in his army tradition. So and the I, Prussians are rolling on in here. He has to have uh, filled up his um, army tra uh, militarization now as well. I wonder how he how is he looking at that one? Yeah, it's oh, full. There, there he's ready. He's battle ready. Does he have any policies for he's war as well? Armed and fully operational. That's right. We talked about policies. No, he's not right using now. Yeah, but he's. I don't think he's fleshed out his ideas yet. Uh, but not, he's gone for the wide approach rather than the narrow approach. Yeah. Diplomatic ideas. The diplomatic <laughs> approach. <laughs> the, the diplomacy I use so is what? the end of that gun. So did the diplomatic give any of these? It's it's just uh, no. Uh, it's these two. Yeah. So it's not uh, not giving him. Uh, he the, he the might have a long-term goal or something, maybe. or maybe it's the available mercenaries one. Possibly, but yeah, diplomatic, <laughs> the underhanded diplomacy. <laughs> I had to make up a, a bunch of weird names for them. <laughs> we trust you, Groog. <laughs> we trust the Groog. 
is this diplomacy a real politic? Well, it's really going to destroy Poland, I think. And Theodore is going to feel the pressure because he was relying heavily mm. on uh, them. But then again, he's cushioned up with Persia and what remains of Karakiunlu, but with mm. Persia, Persian claims there, surely that can't I'm last. I'm also curious, since we're getting to that age soon, or, or do we have any monarchies that are going to switch uh, the government form? It's they... hard to tell, because we don't know what they're going to be going no. for here. But uh, uh, We know Dishmartian is. Well, he claims. He claims, to... you know. Yes. Your mileage may vary on a Martian yep. claim. But uh, let's see. So in uh, blah, 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 1605, yep. currently, can depend on autonomy stuff, uh, Burgundy could go for separation of power and become a republic. Hell, they could yep. uh, install a theocratic government. I would be surprised Rival if it did that, The anti-pope. Imagine <laughs> it. Monastic order and oh, just become man. the anti-pope. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Somebody's asking they want cheaper truce breaks. We already have that in diplomatic. Yeah. Uh, if you finish off the diplo ideas, and hey, we know somebody on their way to that. Maybe uh, that's why. Yeah, lower impact from stability in diplomatic actions. Yeah. If, if you break truce after finishing diplo, you take a three stab hit instead of five. Mm -hmm. And was it like 30 base yeah. AE instead of 50? Yeah, uh, the aggressive expansion is based off the stability hit you take. And that means also if the Jane has taken over your country, you also get stab hit from attacking someone, which also increases your aggressive expansion. Yeah, because the new estates have their own disasters and stuff, so... Uh... Yep. Oh, well, most of them are the same because nobody likes disasters. Yeah. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's just stay, the Jane's got a special one. because Stay, the Jane... stay away from them. Yeah. Marketing should ally with Italy to crush Burgundy slash the Dutch. Well, I mean, we're playing for score, so it would make sense to try to take them down. That's a lot of... That's a lot of Swedes. Didn't realize you even had that kind of population. But they're sending off to fight and die for the Prussians. Do the Swedes have any policies? Though? That is a lot of Swedes, though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Swedes... They've also not really filled out their ideas. No, they haven't. Which is, but, which is sad, because I buffed the Swedish ideas to give them po better policies. The uh, the legitimacy one, if you go to that one. That. Oh, ho. <laughs> so that means if we click here... Yeah, whoa. they have four. No, I'm not good at the woes, but yes, there we, there we go. <laughs> So we, we tied in policy, we, we redid them obviously, and we tied them in with a lot more of the features, right? Yeah. So you, you, uh, you'll impact, be getting more of them in total, or even more that you can get on the cheap, uh, depending on your government reforms, as yep. you can see. And that, and that was, a, I thought you were joking earlier today when you were talking about buffing the ideas. Uh -huh, so. No, uh, there's also a bunch of, in the Indian ones, but I, Lomander did those, so I don't uh -huh. know which one got what, but I told him, don't give a bunch of mill policy to people. Uh -huh. So they got a bunch of uh, dip and uh, mill policies. Cool. And then people are saying Sweden is not OP. Yeah, you're right. 